my name is Allie Noble. Um, I'm an English major, with concentration in writing, and I'm going to be graduating in two days. I found when I came here, it was, you know, there was the literature side and then the writing side. And based on where you fit in, like what you were good at or what you were interested in, you kind of, there was, you divided on the concentration. But a lot of the literature classes, you know, have literary analyses and you still write and in writing, you still work with literature. So it kind of all coalesces, but it's so much bigger than just the language. You can do what I found just about anything. Um, I, through my entire academic career here, every time I told someone I was an English major, like, oh, are you gonna teach? And like, I appreciate teaching, but I've never wanted to like passionately be a teacher. So that kind of scared me off the major at first. I stayed undecided for about a year and a half because I was so concerned that you know, by following what I liked and what I was good at, I would only, it would only lead to one avenue. But almost every industry has a room for a writer and has room for an editor or, you know, they, you need English in pretty much everything. So it can go to marketing, you can go into advertising, you can go into finance, you can, you can go into pretty much anything with an English degree if you sell yourself right. Mainly because in my English classes through high school, I had the best experiences in those classes. I had the best teachers in those classes and I was good at it and I enjoyed it. And I, like I said, I, for a while I stayed away from it because people acted like that wasn't the best major to get into and that kind of intimidated me. But fi I mean, I kind of knew I was gonna major in English all along because I just, I like it and that's what I'm good at. I did two internships with um, marketing communications on campus and one was um, I was social media specialist for their social media team and then I was also an editorial intern this semester. I did the social media stuff last semester and this semester. And so for that one, which was the one that I really, really enjoyed, I we kind of kicked off the Inside IPFW blog and so I wrote for that from the beginning and I'm going to kind of miss that. And I also got involved spring 2015 with um, the Confluence Board on campus. So I've been assistant editor on that since last spring. And that, I'm also going to miss that because I met some really cool people. Well, most of, I think most of that came around in this past, like my senior year, because I won some department awards um, and I won, I, you know, helped out with Confluence, and I, I think I'm really proud of the the Inside IPFW blog, though, because that kind of started from scratch, and it wasn't it wasn't necessarily my idea originally, but I wrote content for it since last August, and it's done really well, and it's all because of our teamwork and all our ideas on that team, and it's it, that feels really it feels really good to have started something like that. biggest piece of advice is get an internship like by your senior year I, w I waited until my senior year to start looking at internships and luckily an opportunity kind of fell into my lap but that's not always the case and I wish I had started actually probably in my junior year so I could have had more experience but all the internship experience material you can plump up your resume with and build, build your portfolio have all of that started before you leave because that's so important to establish yourself so you know what you want to do or what you want to get into or what you want to explore and then your employer sees that over the summer i'm working in marketing communications because the creative copywriter there has an internship with facebook gosh, out in California. So I, since I um, interned with them, you know, with social media over the last year, but this semester, my other internship with them was in the editorial department, editorial team in marketing communication. So they asked me if I would be willing to um, be a contracted um, freelance writer. <laughs> so.
so I'm going to be doing that over the summer.